Hello students, welcome to the lecture on gases and gas laws and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Understand the behavior of gases, define the properties of gases, describe the gas law, define the ideal gases, explain the gases mixture and movement. Let's start with introduction on gases. Gases generally consist of atoms and molecules that are covalently bonded and their intermolecular forces are very weak. The molecules of a gas are highly separated, so we say that gases are mostly empty space. A gas has no definite shape. It will take the shape of the container that holds it and gases are easily compressible. Gases are one of the three common states of matter. A gas is a state of matter in which a substance does not have a specific shape or volume of its own but adopts the form and size of its container. The atmosphere is too vast for us to have any control over atmospheric pressure. Contained gases are a different matter. We can add gas or remove it, shrink or expand the container or heat or cool the gas. Using the kinetic theory, we can often explain how gases will respond to a change of condition without restoring to formal mathematical expressions. Kinetic molecule theory, several properties of a gaseous sample can be explained readily by the feature of a model of gas behavior called the kinetic molecule theory or simply kinetic theory. This theory views the molecules as very small, very hard spares that travel constantly and randomly at high speed. The kinetic molecular theory is important to chemists and other scientists who need a molecular viewpoint in their work, biologists, material, scientists, geologists, chemical engineers, medical scientists, environmental scientists and others. They do not use uh, this theory to perform calculation or predict properties of gases but apply it constantly in their consideration of how gaseous substances behave because it provides the most fundamental picture of matter at the molecular level. The kinetic molecular model of an ideal gas consists of five statements. Molecules are very small and far apart. Most of a container of gas is empty space. Molecules are very hard pairs that bounce off each other without losing energy in encounters called elastic collision. The motion of molecule is random and properties that depend on the motion of the molecules will be the same in all directions. Because molecules in gases are far apart, they act independently and neither attracts nor repels each other. Properties of gases we observe such as temperature and pressure are due to average motion of a very large number of molecules. Postulates, a gas constitute of a collection of small particles traveling in straight line motion and obeying Newton's laws. The molecules in a gas occupy no volume, that is they are points. Collision between molecules are perfectly elastic, that is no energy is gained or lost during the collision. There are no attractive or repulsive forces between the molecules. The average kinetic energy of a molecule is 3 kT by 2. T is the absolute temperature and K is the Boltzmann constant. We have three states of matter. They are solid, liquid, and gas. The difference in these properties are explained by the kinetic molecular theory of matter. The kinetic molecular theory visualizes that any substances whether solid, liquid, and gas is made up of atoms, molecules, and ions which are in constant motion. Postulates of kinetic molecular theory are, the first one is composition of matter. This theory explains that matter consists of small particles which may be atoms, molecules, or ions. The second one is arrangement of particles. Whenever the particles are arranged, they have some spaces lying in between them. These spaces are called as intermolecular spaces. The third one is force of attraction. In this theory, the force of attraction between the molecules of a given substances are called as intermolecular forces. The fourth one is motion. According to this theory, the molecules are always in a state of motion. The fifth one is temperature. On heating the molecules, the kinetic energy increases, and they move faster. Kinetic molecular theory application pressure, 
volume relation at constant temperature pressure force per unit area is due to gas particles colliding with the walls of the container at constant temperature the average kinetic energy remains constant so the average speed of the gas particle is constant increasing the volume available to the gas increases the distance between gas particles which reduces the number of collisions between gas particles and the walls of the container so the pressure inside the container decreases pressure temperature relationship at constant volume as the temperature increases the kinetic energy at the average speed at the gas particles increases at constant volume this result in more collision between the gas particles and the walls of the container so the pressure inside the container increases volume temperature relationship at constant pressure as the temperature increases the average kinetic energy and speed of the gas particles increases in order to maintain a constant pressure the volume of the container must increase increasing the distance between gas particles and the walls of the container mole pressure relationship at constant temperature at constant temperature the gas pressure is related to the number of gas particles colliding with the walls of the container the general properties of gases are a gas has no definite shape or volume of its own it acquires a shape of the container reason intermolecular attraction is the weakest in gases whereas intermolecular separation is the largest a gas has no surface of its own reason Molecules escape from an open container. A gas is not rigid and is easily compressed. Reason Intermolecular separation is very large in gaseous state which can be decreased by applying pressure. A gas can diffuse into another gas reason. Molecules in a gas move very fast, hence the speed of diffusion is very large. A gas on cooling changes into liquid state low density gases contain scattered molecules that are dispersed across a given volume and are therefore less dense than in their solid or liquid states compressibility and expandability the low density of gases makes them compressible since their molecules can be positioned far apart from one another diffusivity given the large amounts of space between gas molecules two or more gases can mix quickly and easily with one another to form a homogeneous mixture this is diffusion pressure gases are in constant motion they exert pressure or force a per unit area on the interior surface of the container gases existed since the beginning of time oftentimes it was referred to as air or oxygen however in the late 18th century air became known as gas and people were able to distinguish between different types of gas towards the end of the 18th century scientists started testing and developing laws that later became known as the gas laws these laws describe properties of gases and how they react in different situation in order to understand the gas laws we need to define a few terms gas a substance consisting of widely spread particles it can expand indefinitely pressure the measure of force applied by another substance such as a gas it is commonly abbreviated as p a capital letter p pressure can be measured in millimeters of mercury mmhg tor atmospheres atm pascal pa and kilopascal kpa volume the numerical amount of space occupied by a solid liquid or gas it is commonly abbreviated as v a capital letter v temperature the measurement of the amount of energy seen in the motion of particles in a solid liquid or gas it can be measured on three scales fahrenheit celsius sometimes referred to as centigrade and kelvin n a lower case n stands for the number of moles of a gas this is a measurement in moles so if given a mass in grams or kilograms be sure to change it to moles first r when dealing with gas laws r is a constant that means dot zero eight two one liter atmosphere per mole kelvin stp stp stands for standard temperature and pressure and refers to conditions of 273 k zero degrees c and 1 atm boyle's law this law is about pressure and volume relationship therefore it assumes constant temperature meaning the temperature does not change P 
V1 equal to P2 V2. This law states that pressure and volume are inversely proportional. That means that as one gets larger, the other gets smaller. The 1 and 2 indicate change. P1 would be before the pressure change and P2 would be after the pressure change. Charles law. This law is about volume and how it relates to temperature. So constant pressure is assumed, meaning we assume that the pressure does not change. This law says that volume is directly proportional to absolute temperature. Temperature in this law is measured in Kelvin's K. The law is written in the following way. V is equal to K to T or V1 by V2 is equal to T1 by T2. Game Lussac's law. This law is about how pressure and temperature relate, which means the law assumes a constant volume of gas, meaning we assume the volume is not variable, it does not change. This law says that pressure is directly proportional to temperature. The formula for this equation is P is equal to K3T or P1 by P2 is equal to T1 by T2. Avogadro's law. As a reminder, Avogadro's number is 6.02 into 1023 atoms in a mole. Although it is always the same number of particles, the mass and weight vary by element with each element's properties. The law states that the volume a gas takes up is directly proportional to the number of moles of gas thereof. The equation is V is equal to K4N, which means that the number of moles N multiplied by a constant K yields a specific volume V. In society, we have to follow laws that maintain order. Did you know? All chemical matter follows certain laws as well. In fact, we can describe those laws by looking at relationships. Some easy laws to begin with are the ones that govern the gases. Back in 1662, Robert Boyle realized that gases had an interesting response when he put them into containers and changed their volume. Take an empty bottle and put the cap on it, closing that container. Now squeeze your bottle, and what happens? The pressure inside the bottle increases when the size of the container decreases. You can only crush that container so much until the gases inside push back on your hand. This is called an inverse proportion, and it changes at the same rate for every gas. Boyle's law allows chemists to predict the volume of any gas at any given pressure because the relationship is always the same. In 1780, Jacques Charles noticed a different relationship between gases and their temperature. If you've ever seen a hot air balloon, you've seen this law in action. When the balloons are laid out, they're totally flat. Instead of blowing the balloon up like a party balloon, they use a giant flame to heat the air inside that envelope. As the air is heated up, the balloon begins to inflate as the gas volume increases. The hotter the gas becomes, the larger the volume, and that's Charles' law. Notice, this law is different from Boyle's. Charles' law is a direct relationship. As the temperature increases, the volume increases as well. The third law is also easily demonstrated. When you're blowing up party balloons, the volume increases. As you are blowing, you're forcing more and more gas particles into the balloon from your lungs. This causes the balloon volume to increase. This is Avogadro's law in action. As the number of particles of gas added to a container are increased, the volume will increase as well. If you add too many particles, well, you know what happens next. Laws are everywhere, even in the tiniest particles of gas. If you squeeze them, the pressure will increase as the particles are pushed together. Low volume means a high pressure because those particles push back. As the temperature increases, gases move away from one another and the volume increases as well. Finally, if you add gas to a closed container, that container's volume will expand. But be careful not to add too much because otherwise, you could end up with a burst balloon. An ideal gas is a gas whose pressure P, volume V, and temperature T are related by the ideal gas law. PV is equal to nRT. Ideal gases have the following properties. All gas molecules are in motion and move randomly. Each time the gas particles collide, kinetic energy is conserved. This is called elasticity. The volume of the molecules of gas is negligible, meaning so small it is not worth stating. Gases do not attract or repel other gas molecules. The kinetic energy of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature in kelvins and is the same for all gases at the same temperature. Ideal gas law. The ideal gas law is one of the equation of state. Although the law describes the behavior of an ideal gas, the equation is applicable to real gases under many conditions. So it is a useful equation to learn to use. 
the ideal gas law may be expressed as PV is equal to NKT, where P is equal to absolute pressure in atmospheres, V is equal to volume, usually in liters, N is equal to number of particles of gas, K is equal to Boltzmann's constant 1.38 dot 10 by 23 jk t is equal to temperature in kelvin the ideal gas law may be expressed in si units where pressure is in pascal volume is in cubic meters and becomes n and is expressed as moles and k is replaced by r the gas constant 8 dot 314 j dot k minus 1 dot mole minus 1 p v is equal to nrt ideal gases versus real gases the ideal gas law applies to ideal gases an ideal gas contains molecules of negligible size that have an average molar kinetic energy that depends only on temperature intermolecular forces and molecular size are not considered by the ideal gas law the ideal gas law applies best to montanic gases at low pressure and high temperature lower pressure is best because then the average distance between molecule is much greater than the molecular size increasing the temperature helps because the kinetic energy of the molecules increases making the effect of intermolecular attraction less significant derivation of the ideal gas law there are a couple of different ways to derive the ideal as law a simple way to understand the law is to view it as a combination of Avogadro's law and the combined gas law. The combined gas law may be expressed as PV by T is equal to C, where C is a constant that is directly proportional to the quantity of the gas or number of moles of gas. And this is Avogadro's law, C is equal to NR, where R is the universal gas constant or proportionality factor combining the laws. PV by T is equal to NR, multiplying both sides by T yields. PV is equal to NRT. Ideal gas constant. The gas constant is a constant in the equation for the ideal gas law. PV is equal to NRT, where P is pressure, V is volume, N is number of moles, and T is temperature. The value of the gas constant R depends on the units used for the pressure, volume, and temperature. R is equal to 0 0.0821 liter dot ATM by mole dot K. R is equal to 8.3145 j by mole dot k r is equal to 8.2057 m3 dot atm by mole dot k r is equal to 62.3637 l dot tor by mole dot k or l dot mmkg by mole dot k according to dalton's law of partial pressures at constant volume and temperature the total pressure exerted by a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of the component gases. Molecules tend to move to areas of lower concentration until the concentration is uniform. This process is called diffusion. During effusion, a gas escapes through a tiny hole in its container. Diffusion is a tendency of molecules to move towards areas of lower concentration until the concentration is uniform throughout. The rate of effusion of gas is inversely proportional to the square roots of the gas molar mass. This relationship is described by Graham's law of effusion. It is always true that the fraction of the pressure exerted by a gas in a mixture does not change as the temperature, pressure or volume changes. The rate of diffusion of a gas is always influenced by its smaller mass. Sometimes two objects with the same mass move at the same velocity. Dalton's law. Dalton's law, also called Dalton's law of partial pressures, states that the total pressure exerted by a gaseous mixture is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of each individual component in a gas mixture. Dalton's law of partial pressure or Dalton's law states that the total pressure of a gas in a container is the sum of the partial pressures of the individual gases in the container. Dalton's law of partial pressure is a gas law that can be stated. P total is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P2 plus Pn, where P1, P2, P3, Pn are the partial pressures of the individual gases in the mixture. Graham's law. Graham's law is a relation which says that the rate of the effusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its density or molecular mass. Graham's law of diffusion and effusion depends on relative velocities of gas molecules. 
Diffusion is a natural tendency for mobile particles, gas and liquid to travel continuously and to go from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration by gradual mixing and virtue of their kinetic properties. Graham's law is written as rate of diffusion of A by rate of diffusion of B is equal to molar mass B 1 by 2 by molar mass A 1 by 2. Graham's law of diffusion diffusion states that the rates of movement of gases at the same temperature and pressures are inversely proportional to the square roots of the molar masses. Now answer the following question of diffusion and effusion depends on relative velocities of gas molecules. Dalton's law, Graham's law, both and none of these answer. Graham law. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. A gas is a state of matter in which a substance does not have a specific shape or volume of its own but adopts the form and size of its container. At constant temperature, the average kinetic energy remains constant, so the average speed of the gas particle is constant. Boyle's law is about pressure and volume relationship, therefore it assumes constant temperature, meaning the temperature does not change. Charles' law is about volume and how it relates to temperature, so constant pressure is assumed, meaning we assume that the pressure does not change. Evergadro's number is 6.02 into 1023 atoms in a mole. An ideal gas is a gas whose pressure P, volume V and temperature T are related by the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law applies to ideal gases. Dalton's law, also called Dalton's law of partial pressures, states that the total pressure exerted by a gaseous mixture is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of each individual component in a gas mixture. Graham's law is a relation which states that the rate of the effusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its density or molecular mass. 